Hello everybody, in the videos today I'm going to show a little bit how to use the Octomap mapping uh, package uh, the main functions, how to create a, a, a 3D map, how to save it, how to how to publish it so yeah, the first thing we are going to need to do is to download the Octomap mapping package in this case I'm using Indigo so let's download the Octomap mapping package from the github let's select here the indigo devil branch there we are and now let's put it in our simulation in our workspace so let's go to our workspace and clone it there we are so now if I refresh this, let's here we have it. Here I have my Oct Octomap mapping uh, packages. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is to create uh, an, an Octomap, a 3D map. So uh, let's come here to the Octomap server package, and inside this launch directory, you will see several launch files. In this case, I'm going to select this Octomap mapping launch file, okay? Now here, this is very simple. Basically, I will need to select uh, an ID, a, fi a fixed uh, frame. Uh, it can be Odom, for instance. I can do it with the frame Odom. In, in my simulation, I have a, a frame which is Odom. And you can also do it with a map frame, for instance, if you have a navigation system. In this case, I'm going to use just the Odom frame. And in this cloud in parameter, you will have to put the topic where your point cloud is published. So in the case of my simulation, let's have a look. This topic is this it's up here. Here I have it. It's camera depth point, so let's select this topic and I'm going to introduce this topic right here. So there we are. So basically, I have uh, changed it from Odom Combined to Odom because this is the how the, the Odom frame is named in my simulation, and I have changed the, the topic name where the point cloud data is published, the point cloud data of this Kinect I have mounted here. Yeah, in this platform I have a Kinect and the, the point cloud data is being published into this uh, camera depth points topic. Yeah, so well, that's that's it. So let's start Irvis right here in another web shell there we are I'm here I'm going to start the the Octomap mapping launch file so ROS launch Octomap server Octomap mapping dot launch there we are. Excellent. So now let's open here our graphic tools window in order to visualize Irvis. Here we have it. And now let's just select here the Odom frame, which is right here. And I'm going to add. Uh, a marker array here in order to visualize the Octobot. So let's add this marker array here and let's change the topic to occupy it. It's, yeah, it's good here. So the topic that we have to set here in order to visualize the Octomap is this one, Occupy it Cells This Array. Okay, so there it is. Now I am starting to visualize the 
Octomap. I can also add uh, the, the robot model in order to visualize where the Husky robot is. So let's put here the robot model. There we are. So here I have my Husky robot and here I am generating the Octomap. Okay, so now I can move the Husky robot. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's stop this one moment because I will launch here the keyboard teleop in order to move the Husky robot. So I'm going to launch here the Octomap mapping. Okay. And here I'm going to launch the keyboard teleop. Husky launch. There we are. Great, so now I can, I can freely move the Husky robot and I will be generating the Octomap. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, here it is. I can move the robot around. Let's move it a little bit. Let's rotate it down there. Here it is. It may go a little bit slow because the point cloud data is, is hard to, to process. It's very heavy, so it may have some delay. But don't worry, just be a little bit patient and, 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 and wait until the Octomap is loaded. And there it is, as you can see, it has added this new section of the wall. So now I will keep uh, mapping this, uh, this small room. And I will come back to you when I'm done, okay? So see you in a moment. Okay, so yeah, here I have my Octomap built. It has some small errors, which are caused because the computer where I'm in it's not very powerful and, in, and it produces some delays but well more or less it's done so so yeah uh, and once the Octomap is built what we can do is for instance save this Octomap so let's uh, yeah let's save this Octomap we have just created here and we can do that uh, very easily by using this command ros run Octomap server, Octomap saver, my Octomap dot bt for saving it into a compressed binary file. You can also choose here the extension ot and it will uh, it will save a full probability Octomap. But in this case, let's do the compressed binary. So for that, uh, we just do, this is very similar to the command we use to save uh, maps in navigation, if you, if you can see. So it's rush run Octomap server, Octomap saver, minus F to introduce the name and uh, the name you want to give to your Octomap and the extension. In this case, I'm going to uh, save a compressed binary, so the extension will be BT. So yeah, and the, this map will be saved into my workspace. Okay, so let's execute this command. Okay, so great, here we have it. My Octomap.bt. Excellent. And also it will appear here in my source folder. If I do a rescan, I should have it. Let's minimize this. Somewhere here, here it is. My Octomap.bt. 
Excellent. So yeah, we have created the Octomap, we have saved it. So let's now just see how to provide it. Okay, I have, let's stop this. Here I have RVs and here I have, okay, excellent. Yeah, well, let's stop it all. Just a moment. Okay, let's launch again. RVs, there we are. Let's select here again the Odom frame. Okay, so now let's come to our world space and here we are going to see how to provide the map, which is using the following command. It's rosrun octomap server. Then we are going to use the octomap server node. Okay, this one here, so Octomap Server, Octomap Server node, and now I'm going to select my Octomap BT file. There we are. And now let's add here a marker array. And here it is our map, yeah? So here we have the map we have saved, which is being provided, which is being published, again, by this Octomap server node here, okay? So, yeah, well, that's all. Uh, very, uh, some simple things to do with, with Octomaps. I, I hope this video helps you in some way and in, please if you have liked the video uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and I will see you the next week. So goodbye.